All right, then. Oh, flipping hell. Wow. Dave, have you shit yourself again? Right. What the f***? That's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, mate, I've got, like, curried herring on your wall. So uh, Martin, you're fired. You're f***ing fired, Martin. What the hell? Have a seat in there. How are we gonna socially distance this side as best we can? Is yeah. That all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And then just move all the way to yeah, the yeah. end. Is that all right? Yep. Yeah. And yeah. then I'll move in here. Yeah, great. And you can see us. Let's go, Cam. Hello. Hello. I'm staying over here so that we're a meter apart. So <laughs> I'm socially distanced. Maybe we can do this. Boom. That works, doesn't it? Perfect. Yeah. And we're out. No green screen. The green screen, man. Oh, and that's Martin get... out there. Before we get into it, clearly, I know that I need a haircut, but it's difficult to get your haircut in the UK. I'm fully aware that I look like Boris Johnson at the minute. What do you have a, um, a thing that you say when you uh, check the mic at comedy clubs? Uh, ch uh, check, check, suit pick, suit pick. What suit pick? Uh, no, no, we don't. Uh, this is a quick one because we're going to go through. We're gonna do two shows today. We're doing like nine shows in six days. Yeah, we are stand-up shows. Stand, like real stand-up shows. They've been amazing. So you're not, I can't do proper gigs in the UK. So Simon invited me to Copenhagen to perform in front of 40 people a night. And it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's so much fun. So what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna, uh, you know, I spent some time in England with you, ate some Marmite. Yes. Shit like that. So I thought I'd introduce you to some Danish food. Lovely stuff. Let's go for it. Okay, first of all, uh, pork scratchings. I'm thinking you have that in uh, the UK as well? We do, yeah, we normally have, you have those in uh, in kind of pubs, like old man pubs. I don't know what an old man pub is. So an old man pub is kind of a rundown, murky pub full of British old men and when you get to a certain stage in life or you have a certain sort of level of being hang hung over, you want to go to an old man pub. And all you'll hear is like grumbling, the occasional fart. I'm not really selling them, but <laughs> old man pubs are really, really, like they're kind of very old, very quaint, very English, and you have snacks like that. So let's try one of these. You go for it. Slack the balls, yeah. What's that mean? Slakta Bolsja is uh, basic. How do you translate Slakta Bolsja out here? Butcher's Candy. Oh, what a great name for that. Butcher's Candy. Well done. Butcher's Candy. You know what yeah, you're called? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wow. pretty good. Right? It's all right. Just dead cold pig skin from yeah. a bag. Is that what it is? The skin? Yeah, that's the skin, the fried skin. Right. Mm. This is my favourite um, pub story from an old man pub. Um, I was in a bar in Leamington. The guy behind the bar went, Dave, have you shit yourself again? And it's, it's the again. Do you know what I mean? It was just like, not the first time. Yeah. It's like, this is becoming a running thing. Dave generally went, yeah. But with a real, yeah. But not, not like, yeah, I better leave. It was just like, Fuck's sake. Yeah. I could own that. My, my middle name is Lemming. Lemming? Yeah, Lemming. As in yeah. the animals the, the, that yeah, leap. As in committing suicide. So your parents named you after an animal that has a desire to jump off a cliff? Yeah. Fuck, man, that's dark. <laughs> that's really dark, isn't it? <laughs> Let, let's keep going. What okay. we're going to have is we're going to have Turkish pewa. Turkish pepper is what it's called. It's Danish, mm -hmm. but uh, invented in, in Danish, but Denmark, but it's called Turkish pepper. It's like hard candy. Oh, right, nice. What's that called? Oh, flipping hell. Wow. Oh, that's full on, isn't it? F me, man. This is... Bite into it. You bite into it? Right. Oh, my God. It's like a fizzy pebble. Do you know what I mean? It's just like a spoon, mm. you know? Fizzy pebble. That is really bad, man. I can't have that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> now, Kama Junga. 
kold skål og kammerjunker, which is like a, t a classic Danish uh, summer treat. So it's like... Um, there we go. You just put this... Usually you put some strawberries on it as well. Right. What the f***? <laughs> That's ridiculous, isn't it? How did this become a thing? That, that is, that that's, old, old... that's a parent that f***ing panicked. Is this like anything you've had so far or, or does it? That's actually all right. I like that. Yes. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's all right. But it's a very dangerous, like, you, like um, uh, Herr Deliko says, you haven't been a student in Denmark until uh, you've had cold school or karma yoga for two weeks every day because it's cheap. That's interesting. Do you have pot noodles? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, we'd, we'd go for the... That's a huge thing in the UK. Mm. That's a massive thing to do. Um, I used to uh, make tuna mayonnaise pasta. That was all I lived on when I was a, uh, a student. Yeah. Oh, chew oh so pasta Ch and then pasta, just tuna, tuna and, mayonnaise. and then mayonnaise. Yeah, keep me going for a week. Crazy. But that's so British to just go mayonnaise. I was like, you're the wisest man of I, all time I, to yeah, put yeah. mayonnaise on your pasta. <laughs> Okay, so this is a uh, rye bread. Yes. And uh, so we'll have like a uh, almost like you know like the office Christmas party uniforest. Yes. Thing. This is almost what we're going for here. We're going for some rye bread. Oh, med kai sil, kai bider, curry, herring. Is that what it is? Right. An English office Christmas party. People get drunk. Yeah. And they they, do. they, they do. photocopy themselves their sort of genitals. They don't go. Oh, I tell you what, Christmas is here. Just curry up some fish and serve it on bread. That seems a weird way to celebrate the uh, the birth of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. <laughs> so what do we do here? So we take you just you cut a piece yep. with the bread, and then you have a snaps. We have some snaps here. What? Well, and this is how you celebrate the birth of Jesus, is it? You maniac! Right, ready. Eins, zwei, drei. What's one, two, three? It's uh, ein, two, three. In, tot, tre. I mean, that's fantastic. I really like that. Mm. I really do. No, it's good, right? It's exquisite. You fabulous people. Mm. And the snaps, skull. Oh, skull. Let's go for the get drunk before the two gigs. You're... I'm not having all of it. The reason, I'm, <laughs> the reason I'm not going to drink all of this is because you know what I'm like with booze, and I can't imagine how disgusting my vomit will be. Oh, you know what I mean? Hurry, hurry, given, vomit? Yeah, mate, imagine that. Good. Okay, you did it. And hey, people are actually surprised that you like the curry herring. Mr. Dober says, didn't expect Russell to enjoy that, was, that herring. That Fair play to That was my favorite thing. The one I really didn't like was the uh, the sweet. That was disgusting. Wow, Chugis Pewa just wasn't you. Yeah, but I really like that. But you're not into sweets that much, uh, right? Uh, don't have a sweet tooth, man. Yeah, they had, oh mate, I've got like curried herring on your wall. So ah, that... f it, man, that's fine. That's, uh, that's uh, like your signature, man. Yes. <laughs> signature on the wall. What's this, Phil? Let's go for in fluidbolle. Right. Uh, I don't know how to split this. Let's just... Tja! Oh, nice. Maybe you just go for that. Okay. And it's just... There's like, at the bottom, there's some marzipan. Sometimes there's different stuff, oh, but you can take some of it. Well, that's incredible. Nice. Okay, we've got another winner. Um, it, it mm. tastes like how trampolines feel when you're six. Do you know what I mean? It's just buoyant, bouncy, youthful. It suggests that there's going to be a future for you that's better than the past. There's real hope in that. Cream buns. And we've only what did you call me? Cream buns. <laughs> what did you call me? How are you doing, cream bun? <laughs> all of this, all the Danish food, all the translations sound like you're catcalling. Uh, one cool. This is a... F what the f how the, how the hell do you say romkugle in den in English? Rum ball. Rum ball. A rum ball. Okay. That's not not for me that one. That's no. No. Well, the old oh, the joke too is much. I think 
It's too much of an adult dessert. I'm very much like children's desserts. Do you know what I mean? But that's like, I always put a bit of alcohol in it. So you don't need to f***ing turn it into a nightclub. Just keep it as a, as a really nice, free for everyone kind of park. Do you know what I mean? I like a dessert that everyone's welcome. Just admit like that. that you're being a child. Don't yeah. try to, to make it all fancy. Completely, yeah. Or I said you got a bit of rum in it, it's f***ing yeah. off. You're f***ing eating yeah. a compressed cake. That's Completely. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, um, um, it like if it could speak, every dessert is like, ta-da. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, you know, there's nothing kind of dangerous or risky about it. But like, oh, it's got f***ing booze in it. <laughs> Just keep it loose. Okay, last one. I think this is the last one. Your bad ha, ha, ha. There we go. Have a big old bite. I think, I think that's, there we go, socially distance. That's the tart. Oh, it's very good. It's very nice. Mm. I was in a, a bakery in Ireland and I saw an Irish lady, she's probably about 50, she's a lovely kind of hourly looking woman. And she saw this row of cakes and she went in and went, ah. Oh. And look at those. That but that's how we all feel about cakes, isn't it? That you, when it's not so good, you're like, oh, f what's the f point? I'm just you. F it makes you angry. It's that good. Okay, and this is the last thing we're just gonna drink. Cocktail. Okay. What's it? This is a cocktail. Okay. Chocolate milk. Oh, nice. But oh, f look at that. Look at get in. Get in. See, yeah, it's not working for me so far. <laughs> Nah. Nope. Nah. Hard pass on the cocktail. Because it's like it, it hasn't got the work ethic to become a proper milkshake. Oh, what? What the f***? You bought the light version, Martin. It's, it's light. Martin is fired now. This isn't cocktail. Don't judge. Sorry. Sorry, light. It looks oh, like, shit. it looks like rats. Martin, you're fired. You're f fired, Martin. It looks like rat sweat and it tastes like nightmares. <laughs> awful. An awful, or, I, God willing. This time next year, they've gone out of business. because That's not good enough. <laughs> Considering what you do as a nation, that, that can't be what you're giving your children. How's it being in Denmark? It's really nice. I'm having a smashing time. So let's do a quick uh, rate. Uh, uh, okay, let's just go one to 10. Call school. What do you think? Do you like I really like that. I would say um, six out of 10. I think if I was 18, it would be eight out of 10. Okay, no one. How about uh, curry? Pickled, Cur the curried herring. Curry herring. Absolutely loved it for me. Nine out of 10. I can't see why you'd have it at an office Christmas party. I don't know what that's got to do with the end of the year or the birth of Jesus or uh, the end, or friends and family, but I really like it. I'd be worried about getting pissed near it because I think your vomit would be chaotic. But the butcher, what was it called? Butcher, butcher's candy? Very, or pork scratchings? Yep, very useful. You like that? You could, you could probably use that as well. If you wanted to uh, sort of get a pack of cats together, you could just sort of sprinkle them around until the cats came to you and over a period of months, train them up and before you know it, take over part of the city. How about uh, floodball? Oh, that was incredible. incredible. Like, yeah, every, every childhood's dream. Every childhood's dream. Perfect, that's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 on that one. Three. Three for yeah. uh, Romkuhl. Ar arrogant. Uh, it's an arrogant cake. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. thinks it's worth more than yeah, it is. Exactly, exactly. So you, you're applying the law of lender, yeah, the law of lender to uh, rum cool. Like, yeah. don't, don't think you're a special mate. You're a Christ, yeah, we got a bit of rum in it. Uh, and then the strawberry cake, your better. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. I'd say that's a nine out of ten. Very, very good. And of course, uh, I barely want to. Yeah. It was one. It was awful. We've got the uh, yeah. yeah, and the snaps. Fine. Absolutely fine. Who drinks f***ing snaps and goes fine and cock you and goes, that's the stuff nightmares made of. Yeah. Because that, like, I've had many, like, you know, it's like snaps, like whiskey, it's all the same. It's very much kind of like, oh, well, well, let's see. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you, you sort of know you're going on a weird path. When you have chocolate milk, you hope your day's going to get better. You don't want to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> let's end on you don't want to commit suicide, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Russell Howard, everyone. Thanks for the food, everyone. Thanks for joining. Remember to see Russell. I think all your shows are sold out, but um, check out his website and follow his Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come along, man. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. See his stuff. Olé. Okay. I'll see you guys. we got to go do some stand up and uh, fire Martin for f bringing. I think he's done a smashing job. Jesus. Lovely. Yeah. It was see great. See you guys. Fun. Awesome. Bye.